Got a case of the hiccups, Brainiacs? How annoying. Have you tried holding your breath or chugging down a glass of water? Hmm, maybe try biting a lemon or pulling hard on your tongue? Hey, what do you know? It's over. Consider yourself lucky because there are patients out there who walk out of their doctor's office diagnosed with chronic hiccups. We know that hiccups are annoying, but could a never-ending bout actually kill you? But before we get into that, let's unravel what actually causes the hiccups in the first place. In short, it's a sudden involuntary contraction of the diaphragm. It occurs in a two-step process. First, the muscle spasm causes you to suck in a lot of air, which leads to an immediate closure of your airways. As a response, the vocal cords snap shut to produce that infamous hiccup noise. Hiccups are caused by a multitude of factors. Eating too much too quickly, especially fatty or spicy foods, drinking too much carbonated beverages, even fear or excitement. Experts also warrant sudden change in temperature, strokes, brain tumors, even certain medications could cause hiccups. Luckily, the hiccups are more often than not an inconvenience than a health hazard. Most remedies to rid yourself of hiccups have all been tried and tested by you at one point or another, like holding your breath, drinking water, quickly, or even a good scare. Some other unconventional solutions include squeezing your palm, drinking ice water, eating a spoonful of peanut butter, or to place a pinch of sugar on your tongue for 5 to 10 seconds. Hiccups most commonly last for less than 48 hours, but in some rare and extreme cases, they last for years, even decades. Take Danielle Kirkland, who woke up in 2008 with the hiccups, only to have it last for 8 years. Kirkland was officially diagnosed with chronic hiccups and had to visit gastric, ear, nose, throat, and lung specialists before a cure was found. And you hated sitting in the waiting room for a few hours. Admittedly, she also said that the hiccups became a major obstacle in her personal life, as well as to her health. Kirkland reports that she was kicked out of college because the hiccups were too disruptive in class. Not to mention, it made dating very interesting. That's not exactly the most attractive tagline on your Tinder bio. Kirkland finally started to take a medication called Tizanidine which cured her chronic hiccups. But hold the phone, Brainiacs. If you thought eight years of hiccups was bad, what about 68 years? Charles Osborne is officially the Guinness Book of World Records holder for the longest bout of hiccups ever recorded. Doctors report that Osborne damaged a small but significant part of his brain that inhibits the hiccup response. At the beginning of his chronic hiccups, they occurred around 40 times per minute on average, but then gradually slowed to 20 per minute. At that rate, it's estimated that after 68 years, Osborne famously hiccuped 430 million times in his lifetime. But if you thought this detail would stain his personal reputation and love life, Osborne reportedly lived a pretty normal existence. He married twice and fathered eight children, so there is hope for everyone, I guess. Even you, Brainiacs. You'll be happy to know that Osborne did not die from his chronic hiccups, mysteriously. The hiccups stopped the year before he died in 1990 from old age. As for someone actually passing away from chronic hiccups, Pope Pius XII is the individual who came closest to this bragging right. He had a long period of hiccups associated with gastritis, though he officially died of a stroke. In other words, although he departed the world hiccuping, it wasn't the coroner's official cause of death. According to experts, chronic hiccups isn't too much of a serious problem in itself. What can be problematic are the debilitating consequences coupled with chronic hiccups, like fatigue, weight loss, depression, and problems with heart rhythm. So never having hiccups won't kill you. If anything, it is more likely that you'll die from embarrassment and a standstill in your personal life. Yikes. Chronic hiccups or not, and maybe the last part is already an issue for you, so here are some fun facts about the spastic diaphragm muscle. You know, so you can be the life of a party. Okay, maybe not, but we're sharing them with you anyways. The medical term for hiccup is singultus, which is Latin for to catch one's breath while crying. Interestingly, infants hiccup more than adults. An idea suggests that hiccups were a way to prepare a fetus for breathing once it was born to exercise its muscles. This is just a hypothesis, especially since no one is actually sure why hiccups are even a thing. On top of that, fetuses have been reported to hiccup while still in utero. Men and women get hiccups equally as often, but hiccup fits that last more than 48 hours are common in men. In the animal world, kittens, squirrels, and otters can all 
small hiccup. In fact, after this video, you should really see a compilation video of cute hiccuping animals. Trust us, you won't regret it. So by now, you probably know way more about hiccups than you signed up for. While no one is certain why our body reacts the way it does, one thing is clear. The human body is a weird conglomerate of functions that somehow keeps us up and running every day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the science of the human body. See you later, Brainiacs. Huh? <gasps>